Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a NewGamesNinja.com show match brought to us by NewGamesNinja.com and us here at Urev TV. I, of course, am your host, Justin Moosey Meyer, and with us for uh, for at least a while, we have Skylar, also known as Cygnus. And I can't... Is that Sloat Cygnus? Skylar Sloat. All right, Skylar Sloat, also known as Cygnus. How are you doing, I am doing amazing. I am just so pumped for this match, Moosey. Oh, I, I absolutely agree. So, uh, that was that was the little breathing of Killatoy. He's a very sick man. We're getting to some exciting action here in just a second. But just a brief rundown. We are going to be playing a best of three show match. And Cygnus, who are the teams again? Inevitable Defeat Gaming. Uh, with some pretty awesome players. And we also have the Sivo Leopard at one throwback champions, Latino Heat. Wow, you're so good at this, Cygnus. I can't believe we haven't been casting more together lately. So, <laughs> for ladies and gentlemen, just for some fun, to decide who gets to pick what server or what side they're going to play on first, we're going to have a little brief interview, or not interview, uh, quiz, asking uh, 10 questions to both Killatoy, who is our resident ID, uh, Left 4 Dead Knowledge aficionado, and he's going to be fighting against Visceral for that. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's very exciting. I just got spammed by Goose. Goose was about to do it, and then Visceral finally showed up. So it's going to be Visceral. So Killatoy, Visceral. Uh, let's start with Killatoy. How are you doing? I'm sick. You are sick. That's not good. Are you feeling confident for this match, though? Uh, I just played, like, a couple of rounds and some scrims, and my aim was on point, so I think I'll be all right. All right. How about you, Visceral? I'm doing pretty good. What's up? You feeling confident for this match? Uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. All right. Well, uh, we're going to... Uh, we'll have Killatoy start. So, Visceral, I'm going to kick you out of uh, this channel for just a small period of time. We're going to ask Killatoy ten questions. Sure. And then you're going to fight him back. So I'm going to go ahead and move you. And Killatoy, are you ready? I I suppose so, yes. <laughs> All right, so kill it, toy. We got ten questions here. Do I have the, to answer these really quickly? Uh, you have about five seconds to answer, unless it's, your, okay. if it's a list. All right, let's start with something kind of. Uh, well, let's let's start with one of the easier ones. What frag video is most famous for including a war room of Xanath and Stizza uh, during a quad cap? Again, that, what frag video is most famous for including a war room of Xanath versus Stizza? Was that the dropout frag Stizza. video? That is a dropout frag video. So, one point. Uh, next question. After launch, the tank was buffed in many, many ways. Uh, list three of the ways that he was buffed. Uh, didn't get eaten alive by Auto Shotty. Uh, he could get multi hits. Uh, I don't know, was there one about fire? I can't think of any other one. Oh, unfortunately you were not able, I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll answer these completely later. Um, so you're one for two right now. List two ways, list the two ways, excuse me, to skip the crescendo on No Mercy 3 prior to patching. No Mercy 3? Yes. Uh, breaking down the... The door by mainly spamming it. <laughs> and? I have no idea. Alright. Next question. What map was the term jerk store coined on? Sorry, say that again. On what map was the term jerk storing a witch coined on? What was that BH2? It was Blood Harvest 2. So you're 2 for 4. List the DPV roster that plays second at the GXL. Uh, surgical, whooped. Oh, oh, for Owen. Sorry, I'm having some issues here. That's fine. And the last one. And uh, what's his name? Black belt. Correct. All right. Wait. Um. Okay. Well, in versus mode from Alfred E. Launch, how much HP did the tank have? 
I'm not. <laughs> All right. Well, well, again, we'll answer these after Visceral is done. So, who is the only female Left 4 Dead player to have been on the winning team of a major Left 4 Dead tournament, and what team? Rosie for MT2. MT2 is. This is for bonus points. For do you, what does MT2 stand for, Kilatoy? Come on. Oh, oh, okay, Mother Teresa. All right. Uh, who said, "Keep it up, Kaja. You're doing great in the New Egg Wenfest finals." Dance. Uh, that is incorrect. I don't know. Hunter training map upon completion has how many challenges? Never played. I have no idea. All right, <laughs> Portal Toy, just not doing so hot. We'll see how Visceral can do that. Wasn't gonna do <laughs> the final question: uh, Who took third in the Alienware Arena Survival of the Fittest tournament after the RIP disqualification? Wow, I I hate quizzes. I give up. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna drag Visceral in here. Visceral, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, what frag video is made most famous for including a war room of Xanath and Stizza during a quad cap? Xanath and Stizza. Xanath and Stizza. What frag video were they on? I don't know. Okay. Uh, the correct answer for that was the Dropouts frag video. Mm, okay. After launch, the tank was buffed in many, many ways. List three. Hittables uh, lit up. Okay, two more. Come on, Visceral, time's running out. Um, take tank rage was, uh, couldn't get tank rage from Hittables anymore either. And, um,. You were slower when you were lit. Uh, I believe... Well, that is that is incorrect. Um, you were no longer slow when lit. Well, uh, it, was some, a, it was a double change, wasn't it? And then later, like recently, they made you faster. Oh, that, that'll be up our panel of judges. AF1, I know you're out okay. there listening. You know all this stuff. You should uh, send me a message and hop and mumble anyway. All right, so what are the two ways to skip the crescendo on No Mercy Three prior to patching? Oh, uh, you could uh, bust the door down by mailing it to um, a lot. And is that a pass? I suppose, yeah. All right, so the other way was if a survivor stood on top of a truck and you were beneath them and threw a pipe bomb at their feet, they would be able to ride the pipe bomb up, and uh, you would never trigger the crescendo. All right, what map is the term jerk storing coined on? BH2. It is Blood Harvest 2. List the DPV roster that plays second at the GXL. Surgical, Ulfron, Black Belt, and Whoop. Correct. In versus mode from Left 4 Dead original launch, how much HP did the tank have? Uh, the, during the launch of the game, how much did the tank have? When you were playing versus mode for uh, Left 4 Dead launch. 4,000? Correct, 4,000. Who is the only female player to have been on a winning team for, of a major Left 4 Dead tournament, and what team was she on? Left 4 Dead 1 tournament? Yes. Uh, pass. Alright. It was Rosie of Team Mother Teresa. Uh, who said, keep it up, Kaja? You're doing great in the New Egg Wanfest final. I think that was Dante? Kilatoy also said Dante. I believe it is Orin. If that is incorrect, then you guys both got that right. If not, then you both got that wrong. Um, Hunter training map upon completion has how many challenges? Twenty. Twenty-one. And who took third in the Anwar Arena Survival of the Fittest after the RIP disqualification? Fuck. 
third place. Uh, pass. All right. So uh, if anyone else was keeping track, I believe Killatoy has won. They both answered each question correctly and incorrectly, except for the uh, the one about Rosie of Team Mother Teresa. So Killatoy. Hooray. Uh, which <laughs> Would you guys prefer to play on your server, or would you rather the Latino Heat server, and you guys pick Survivor or Infected? Man, this was so cheesy. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, do you want the map too, or are we just doing server no, and survival? starting death toll. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, we'll do our server, and we'll take survivor first. No, uh, you get to pick one of the two. Oh, one of the two. Okay. Our server. Would you prefer oh, All right, your choose. server? Visceral, yeah. survivor, or infected? Uh, infected. All right, so we're going to hop into the ID server. And Latino Heat will be writing or starting with the infect. So I apologize for this very, very cheesy interview. So you guys go ahead and get that server set up. We're going to start hopping in and joining up. And, uh, well. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time. So, Cigna. Yes, sir. Please tell me that wasn't as bad as I. Well, that uh, just seemed awful for me. Anyway, let's, let's get the show match on the road. So. Do you have any predictions as a unbiased caster? Uh, no, I can't. I honestly can't make a decision. Both teams are just so solid. I, I honestly don't know who's going to win Missy. But I will say I'm going to be rooting for ID because my dear friend Cool Jerk is on that team. So I guess as a biased caster, I have to be rooting for ID, but I can't say that they're going to win for sure. Well, you know, as a biased cast, I will have to root for Latino Heat because they have had some fantastic people who co-cast with me. So we got a little bit of a rivalry going, but Cygnus. But you know what? I'm going to put five esports dollars on Latino Heat winning. Do you accept? Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to get this. Ex this is a very, very exciting thing. Uh, Cygnus, do you happen to know all the rules that are in place, or do I have to give a rundown of those? Um, I'm not. I remember reading over them, but I'm, I don't exactly remember all the rules. So please go down for me, please. Well, how about you uh, You explain what's happening with the Retoblin Hardcore configuration that we're doing, and then I will cover the tournament specific rules. So what you want me to do is you want me to explain what the config does? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, basically, with Hardcore Retoblin, we, all the throwables have been removed, so there are no Molotovs or Pipe Bombs. You only get to melee twice before you start to become fatigued, so... Basically, everything in our top is just to make Survivor play a lot more difficult. And there are no health kits, there's no extra pills on the map, you only get four pills right out of the safe room, and that's it. Um, of course, if you are unfamiliar with Left 4 Dead, uh, there's a tank forced on every map, so every team will get a tank every map. Um, witch rate is still default, so there may or may not be witches every map, and I think that's it. I've, I've been informed that we did miss the addition of Patrick Kaja for the backup for Latino Heat. But I know all of Latino Heat's here and ready to play, so there will be no uh, for a backup. But we there is the potential of Corn being pulled in to be a backup, as Killatoy is deathly sick right now. That's too bad. I wish to yeah, go out to Killatoy and hope that he does not die. That'd be very sad. All right, so uh, real quick before I explain what the rules are, for the, uh, I just wanted to say thank you. I set up a little meeting in the Sevo chat at 11 o'clock p.m. last night with uh, people just to try and get some questions to be answered uh, for that little little quiz we did. And I told people to message me if they participated because it was very very hard to keep track. But uh, the people that I did want to thank are definitely Owls, Duck, AF1, and Eulogy, as they helped me come up with a bunch more questions. And I'll just ask those questions randomly throughout the game, see if Cygnus knows, because, well, I have five more questions that are fantastic. <laughs> but Cygnus, I have created some rules for this, because, well, it's brought to us by NewGamesNinja.com, and uh, he just said, you know, do what you want, and I'm like, I will do what I want! 
So I did a <laughs> interviews and you know just just having a lot of fun with this, trying to make it a community event. Definitely. I can safely say a lot of the community has been looking forward to the show match. It was posted everywhere that I know of, so hopefully we get a lot of people to see this. And I hope everyone does know that this is for this is for real money. So both teams are definitely going to be trying their hardest. You know what? We're we're going to skip my ruling because I I just remembered when you brought up the money. We have the money man himself, Vindexus from NewGamesNinja.com. How are you doing tonight, Vindexus? I am doing great. It's still the afternoon here in Pacific time, but I am excited, and I'm really glad that I stepped up and made you step up and do this. Oh, well. Uh, why don't you give us a little brief rundown of what New Games Ninja actually is? Uh, New Games Ninja is a personal business site, I guess, a business venture of myself. It is a email newsletter, and it's really simple. All it is is... Video games are normally released on Tuesdays, so you get an email with the platforms you pick telling you which games came out that Tuesday. And then it's just uh, description, the price, and then links to trailers, cin uh, cinematic trailers, gameplay trailers, that kind of stuff. All right, well, that's that's pretty awesome. So what made you actually want to do this for the Left 4 Dead community? Obviously, you've been very involved in StarCraft, doing the StarCraft Reddit Open for so long now. I constantly see the New Game Ninja website up on uh, the Team Liquid website. So why, why make the stretch to Left 4 Dead? Well, I started sponsoring the SC Reddit Open and the SC Reddit Invitational just because I liked watching StarCraft, and it seemed like a good place to get some advertising in. But at my like inner core, I'm a Left 4 Dead player. I like it a lot more than StarCraft. So after I saw the SIBO throwback tournament coming around, and then there was the announcement of the ID League and the GOT4, and there's just a whole bunch of Left 4 Dead stuff, I thought, wow, if, you know, if this has the potential to be like half as good as the StarCraft stuff has been for New Games Ninja, then I'm definitely going to do this because I just li I love watching it. <laughs> And I uh, really love sponsoring these kinds of events. It's really cool. Well, I can safely say that uh, the community really, really thanks you for it. As we get a clutch of the Titans, you know, to be the overused thing, as every big game has used at some point. So we finally have a Clash of the Titans, Cygnus. And, uh, well, are you as excited as I am? I am definitely excited. Inevitably, Defeated Gaming has definitely proven themselves in the past. They've only been a team for about, I think, two months now. I believe they started in around February. And they got picked up by Inevitably Defeat Gaming, uh, which hosted the ID League to, as one of the tournaments right after the SIBO Throwback Tournament. And then we have Latino Heat, of course, who won the SIBO Throwback Tournament. And I could safely say that they have all proven themselves as well as very solid players. So. Yes, Moosey, I am very excited for this match. Alright, so, Vindexus. Uh, there was one more question I was going to ask you, and then I got super duper distracted, and now I can't remember what it is. So is there, how about, is there anything else that you want to talk about uh, before um, we let you go? Uh, well, real quick, there's the, the betting system, so if people bet on the website before we started, it's, you can't now, but... If you bet, then they are going to win a Left 4 Dead poster. One of them, going to pick it randomly. If you get it, if you bet for the right team, then you're more likely to win. So there was that. There was your mouse pads. I want to say, maybe you want to talk about that. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing a special little giveaway uh, during this cast. Anyone who signs up for Ninja's Ninja gets the chance to win a mouse pad signed by me. We're going to be announcing a winner probably at the end of map 2 and some point in the final map, which is Suicide Blitz, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. And I actually have two signed mouse pads to give away. So go ahead and sign up for New Games Ninja. Vindex is going to be giving me the start of your email address. So say my name was my email address was bobbyjones69king at l4d.com. I would say bobbyjones69king has won a signed mouse pad. So uh, make sure you sign up for New Games Ninja. You know, it's it's definitely a service to you. If you forget Pokemon Black came out this week, well, New Games Ninja would definitely remind you. 
uh, Pokemon Black already came out, but say for Diablo coming up, or uh, Portal 2, or, you know, all these fantastic games. So make sure you guys sign up for Ninja. It's it's basically just saving yourself all the hassle. Yeah, and if people sign up, then it lets me pretend that these things are actually worthwhile financially. <laughs> so if people sign up, I can... I'd love to keep doing events like this. So if you subscribe to the newsletter, then I'll be able to look at the numbers and say, hey, why don't we do this again? All right, so uh, Nightcrawl, I'm being asked to get you in the server so that we can get this game underway. We're just a couple minutes from starting, ladies and gentlemen. Within the six minutes between now and 6.30 Eastern, we will be getting this started. So get excited. Uh, Vindexus, I just wanted to thank you and New Games Ninja for all your support of the Left 4 Dead community. And I really, really hope that there's uh, more prizes in the future for us. Because I would love to be able to do one of these, you know, once a month, once a week, once every five hours. You know, if if you uh, supply the money, I'll supply the voice. Sounds like a fair trade to me. All right, so Vindexus, uh, I know you wanted to actually watch the cast from the outside, so you didn't actually have to control the game in-game. So we're going to let yeah. you go. Cygnus and I are going to get this prep. All right, and... I'm off to watch this cast. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. See you later, Vindexus. So uh, here we are going live. I need to get this uh, thing brought down. Let's give us a roster rundown quick. All right, well, on Latina Heat, we have Antonio, Miguel, Julio, and Santiago, which I believe is Visceral, Goose, Griffin, and Nocturnal, respectively. I'm not sure what their aliases are. And on Inevitable, <laughs> inevitable Defeat, we have Killtoy, Kush, Cool Jerk, and Yugi, also known as Chris. All right, so we have inev Inevitable... That is the hardest word to say. I'm just going to call them ID for the rest of the cat. Third survivor side. We have the Boomer come out, try and go for Rock Boom, gets popped. We see an 18 damage pounce happening there. Smoker went for a pull. Was unable to get the pull, and ID is really just booking it already. Wow, a 25 damage pound signal. Oh, oh man, Kush is just, it's really too bad he wasn't looking at the hunter, at least from what I saw. But man, they ate two DPs from that, so I'd say that was a very good amount of chip coming out from Latino Heat. And we should see their next hit coming up pretty quick. Of course, that hunter will be staggered, so he might take a little bit longer to get up, but... You know, that DP was definitely worth it. So, a quick uh, rundown for... Latino Heat, the Miguel is also known as Griffin, Antonio is Goose, Julio is Nocturnal, and Santiago is Visceral. It took me so long of casting them to finally figure it out, but we got there, and I'm 100% sure, unless they just change their names and avatars around, and then I'm going to look like a fool. But up until that point, we have the attack coming here right now, we have 200 smoke going for a pullback, Hunter's making their way in, 100 dead stopped, uh, the other one shut down, Boomer gets the boom on one and gets out. Cygnus, let's talk about these rules a little bit. So, you... you very, very expertly covered the Retoblin Hardcore. But we're going to see a few differences as the tank is up and survivors are going to push forward. So, uh, well, we'll get back to this in a little bit. Let's head to Latino Heat War Room, see how they're going to handle this infected. Shit, I should have called the push. When I, I don't know, dude. I don't know if that would have been good. They've already cleared all the common. Even when you would have. <laughs> I hate this tank. Alright, are you guys ready? Don't get popped. Mm. Try not to get popped. Um, I'll try. I'm don't let it go. Yeah. Alright, go. It. Hunter's ready? Mm hmm. Call go. us. Nice. Boom. Only one, though. No common yet. Common's all coming from the front, and so. He's fucking. They're, they're all juke. The next rock's like rocks. the rocks. Wow. Yeah, that was. Let's bring it back here to Erev TV and Cigna. That tank, uh, well, why don't you just explain why he didn't do as much damage as it looks like he could have? Well, Missy, I just have to say that ID did a really good job of handling that tank. You know, only one of the survivors got boomed. They were sure to quit, uh, clear it as soon as possible. That tank was at about 60% by the time his SI was in to help him. One of the hunters did get dead stop, and I believe one landed. But ultimately, they just focused on the tank, and you know he really didn't get a chance to do as much damage as we may have thought he was going to be able to. Yeah, with the shout, out, uh, I was going to say shut or shout up. I don't know what I'm going to say. With how well they shut down those spawns, you know the tank is only really going to get a punch and a rock in. And that's going to be about it. But we're going to see a standard attack for the final attack on this map. We have Latino Heat having to do a damage to do a 159. We have another 25 damage popping already. That is three DPs. Cool Jerk taking the brunt of that one. And, uh, well, 
That dropped the health bonus from a 159 down to looks like a 134 here. And it's continuing to drop Cygnus. Yeah, that's definitely a very good health bonus. It could have been more, but you know, I guess he obviously wasn't looking at those hunters. Never a good idea to focus on those hunters, but it is always a good idea to look up. But like I said, that's definitely not a bad health bonus. It's going to be pretty darn good, and he's going to have to match that, if not do better, if they want to keep up. All right, real quick rundown on the rules while I got a chance. So, the hunting rifle is 100% banned. We will not see that in use this entire game. We are playing maps 1 through 4 of Death Toll. The loser of Death Toll will pick maps 1 through 4 of a, another campaign that is not Death Toll. Then, uh, if we are 1-1, one, one, we're going to Suicide Blitz for the tiebreaker to see who is going to win this $100, brought to you by NewGamesNinja.com. Or, if, uh, if there is a 2-0 sweep from either Latino Heat or ID, we're heading and we're creating a little bonus prize, which is yet to be announced. Uh, both the teams know about it, so... so Wow, I can't talk. So we're definitely going to see some Suicide Blitz today. If you guys have never played Suicide Blitz, it's pretty awesome. But it uh, looks like we have 200 spawned up, and Cygnus, why don't you talk about this tech? This tech, well, normally we do see hunters go for DP. He's probably playing on the, <laughs> the distraction from the smoker, and the boomer is going to go in as well. But both hunters pretty much got shut down. No DP is coming in from ID. The smoker tried to get a pull, but it looks like they pounced the pull at the exact same time. Boomer did not, <laughs> was not able to land his boom. And that was pretty much shut down by Latino Heat. Cygnus, if we have the sake of our problem cast in this entire match, it's going to be awful for the viewers. So, time to get <laughs> in the cast mode. I got my can of uh, generic uh, soda, which I will not name a brand for until Barks decides that they want to sponsor me and give me unlimited root beer for free. <laughs> but uh, we have the attack coming. It looks like it's going to be a standard attack again. Uh, the infected are really out of sync right here. With the attack coming in, Boomer is shut down. One hunter is dead before the other hunter and the smoker try and make their way in. Smoker is just running away, and Latino Heat is just shutting the, down these attacks so well. Yeah, the idea spawns were, like you said, just really staggered. The Boomer and the Hunter were in right away, but that other Hunter was in really late. And we're going to see this tank come in, so I guess we're going to go to ID's war room? Absolutely we are. I say commit. Are you going to get 200 for it? Better. Cover this, thank you. Wow, what? Stuck on these cars. Good rush. You're doing good, just stay on now. One more punch and we already beat their health bonus. Did that car hit? We're shooting up. Pass it, I guess. Oh, so you're ready to go in right now? I'm ready. Off your cash. Go. Alright, let's go. Go. A little higher in the rock. I got stuck on these damn cars when I first started pushing. Pushing them. First starting to push. They can be caught out of position though. You guys probably need to go in for me. We're gonna need this boom. Can land yeah, that you guys go, go in, go in. I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, that was too far away. Get her up. All right, Cygnus, let's bring it back here to Erev TV. And well, that tank did some pretty fierce damage. Actually, that is our first kill a tank of the night, and I can only hope that we see many, many more. Definitely, Moosey. We saw significantly more damage coming out of that tank than Latino Heats, but ultimately, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna. I shouldn't have said significantly. That was a little bit more, and that was enough to get Zoe down. And that's gonna leave them at two less health bonus than ID got. So already we're at a very close game. Like this is ridiculous. Yeah, a eight point difference right there. And I was just reminded of another rule that I realized I never saw was enforced. Uh, we're, we're going a little bit by the Euro rules here. After the initial ready-up, the two restarts, 
We're going to have both teams say when they're actually ready. As, uh, well, it gives the infected more time to set up, and for those of you who are new to Left 4 Dead, the game is very, very survivor-sided. It is very, very difficult for the sur for the infected to wipe survivors that are of this caliber. And, uh, well, so basically, we're, we've implemented so many things throughout the years of Left 4 Dead being out to try and make the game harder and harder for the survivors, but it's just still not happening. It's like... No, sir. Even with the new hardcore Rod Toblin, it's just ridiculous. Like, teams are just gonna keep surviving no matter what, even with all these new. Uh, what can I say? I guess we can, we can call them nerves to the survivors, and it's just not really seeming to do much. Yeah, uh, so we had Latino here run straight out, and looks like Santiago has 300 ping. We have the attack coming in right now. We have a 100 landing. Boomer whiffs the boom. Hunter gets dead stopped and then stumbled by the boom. The boom smoker gets a pull back. But 318 ping for Santiago. How can he possibly play like this? I have no idea. They, he obviously doesn't want to pause because he doesn't want to start anything. But, you know, it's going to be pretty difficult if he's like the last man standing, but we already see that tank up. It looks like it's going to be controlled by Killtoy, and we're going to go to ID's war room. Mm, we're we're not actually not headed to the ID war room quite oh. yet. Uh, okay. See, what we like to do here at Erev is talk about tanks a little bit, just explain what's happening up until the point where they are going. The tank is going to commit, and it looks like Killtoy is making his way in now. So back to the ID war room. Nice. Had to jump around. Nice, 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 nice. Doing great for the There's nothing left, no common nothing. Yep, yep, backing up. Good damage so far. This is great. Yeah, beautiful health. Plenty of health. Yep. Beautiful health. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna look for the spoon. Gotta go for him. Two boomed. Let's bring it back here to Erev TV Cygnus, and that tank did some pretty fierce damage. That was our second kill tank, and he got two survivors bleeding. This horde is working some serious magic too. But the the main thing is two survivors bleeding, and can you explain to us why having survivors bleeding is so important, especially for tanks this early in the map? Well, Missy, for one, because there's so little amount of pills, the survivors are just going to bleed all the way through the map. Because that tank was so early, if they do not rush these to these hordes and through these attacks, they're going to bleed out. And eventually, you know what happens if you bleed out? You go down once, and then you go down twice, and you're black and white, and that's just, you know, you're dead. So, so having Hade, them bleed out is very important. Latino Heat showing that's going to be very aggressive. We have this attack coming in right now. We have Smoker going for a pull. Hunter getting a stumble. Great stumble. One Hunter coming for scratches and the Boomer drops down. We still have a Smoker pull and so much damage is happening here, Signet. This is our first serious, serious attack without a tank of this. And if this is any kind of indication of what it's going to be like tonight, I cannot wait. <laughs> no, sir, man. They committed three pills already. Santiago with the last set of pills. Still at 300 ping. I'm feeling a little bad for the Latino Heat right now, but they have the choice to pause and they do not want to. They're going to rush through this event, it looks like, as soon as the uh, floodgates open. We're going to see their next attack coming in pretty soon. Yeah, so we're going to see a Smoker go for a pull down here. It's more of an inconvenience than anything right now. We have Boomer gets some boom in one. Smoker's going to get the pull down, which is going to slow survivors down even more. We have two hunters landing, or one hunter landing right there, landing on the only green survivor. And that's going to be Miguel being end capped off that. Boomer is just chilling, and he's going to go and die last here, it looks like. So, yes, Sigmund, we're going to see a potential quad cap. Potential quad cap. And on top of that, Miguel is black and white, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I am mistaken. mistaken. He is not black and white. I'm sorry, I jumped the gun there. But uh, we are definitely seeing a quad cap, and this could be so crucial. If they land this, ID has the potential to lead up on Latino Heat by at least a thousand, depending on how much they make it by. We but I are definitely, we are going to see the squad cap. The squad cap is three hunters and a smoker, or four hunters. It's, you have to do some pretty nifty stuff to get it. We have the quad making its way in right now. We have smoker goes for a pull. Nice skeet right there. 
two hunters landing, but one of them pounced the pull. And we have Visceral, or excuse me, Nocturnal, also known as Julio, getting pulled. Every damage on Julio is very crucial for the infected because every two damage will drop the health bonus one point as opposed to four damage necessary to, to drop the health bonus one point for a survivor. Definitely, so sir. And Miguel is at one health right now. This is really intense for Latina Heat right now, I imagine. Because they have the choice to down him right now and take the brunt of the fight with three people, or they can keep him up and, you know, risk having that. But the boomer's gonna get stumbled by Santiago. Very good job by Visceral picking off that boomer. The rest of the SI is gonna have to come in really quick, but they're gonna scratch Miguel down. Other hunters are just gonna go for scratches onto Julio, also known as Nocturnal, but they aren't gonna land one. Smoker is gonna pull just to try and delay and try to get some response up, but it looks like it's not gonna be <laughs> happening. <laughs> they finally kill the smoker, manages to land about a one second pull on a bill. And they are gonna get in the safe room pretty quick, here. So, uh, Signals, I just wanted to point out that Santiago's ping dropped from 300 down to 70, and then he ran in a room and right clicked a boomer. So maybe <laughs> he's toggling some pit. No, there's, there's absolutely no cheating. These are, guys are the best of the best. And looks like Santiago is asking for a re to make sure that there's going to be no issue with his ping. Uh, he may have a brother or sister who's watching this cast who is, you know, just so excited about it. And I, I would be because New Games Ninja has given up a lot of money and given away some posters and a couple signed mouse pads, Cygnus. Yes, sir, and that's very generous for someone we didn't really know until this point to just come out straight and offer this right for a show match between these two awesome, awesome teams, Nevertheless of the Peak Gaming and Latino Heat. So I'm not sure what the uh, re-ready was for there. They immediately got readied up again. But we're going to see the survivors make their way out. This is ID as a survivor. And, well, we have the Burma coming. Gets a great boom on three. Smoker with full forward. And two hunters landing perfectly in synchronization. Doing a bunch of damage off this early attack. Signals. Health bonus 188. It should have been a lot less. But ID is so, so good that they're just like, no, we're not going to take that much damage. <laughs> yes, sir, and now you see why Latino Heat is the Sevo Left 4 Dead 1 throwback champion. Landing those attacks in perfect synchronization, both those hunters landed at the exact same time, and the boomer popped right onto them. Probably would have got 3 boom anyway. But wow, that was just a perfect attack, perfect example of why they are the throwback champions. Yep, the uh, boomer crouch glitch was what was used for that. It is not legal in Sevo or any other leagues currently, but we're doing it because, well, it's a lot more fun to watch, and, uh, well, Sebo was talking about it, but we have the tank coming in, so let's head to the Latino Heat War Room. Ready? Come on, let's send it in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get, I'm getting kill toy. Uh, he's split from me, dude. Grab cool. Okay. Down him. Take that down. down him. Take the down, man, take the down. You could get one more, that's a really good tank, nice. No, oh, oh, she's oh, down. Nice, nice, nice. You got him. Oh, oh, come on. You got Bill. Good fucking tank. We have spawns Yo, I'm gonna soon. try and stay alive, stay alive. Yeah, yeah get that you get that. Go after the down guy in the pipe. Shit. They got another guy up. They got another guy up. Well, we got your spawns. There's two more damage, two more damage. Sending spawns I'm in for, for spawns. you. I'm gonna wait for spawns. We're we're sending them in. Let's Idiot's go. pistol. Go in, hunter. Go in. Cover, 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 cover. Of course. Uh, hey, good thing. Let's bring it back here to Erev Cygnus. That was the chattiest war room I've ever heard. You can tell Latino Heat is just pumped. But wow, that tank did some sick, sick damage. Definitely, Moosey. We're gonna have to start calling Visceral the Tank Man, not the Hunter Man, because he just did such a good job with that tank. Was able to swing around, you know. He just kept juking in between all those little turbines there and hitting the survivors around the corners. And wow, he just did such a good job spreading that love. That push is down to about 10 health and kill toy at the half. And I'm sorry for inter interrupting. No, that, that's fine. We have two survivors who are bleeding out, but a whole bunch more damage happening to the green survivors. We're gonna see a quad attempt though. We have three hunters making their way, and Smoker's gonna go for pull. We see a stumble, and two hunters landing. One dead stop last second, but they're all alive. Oh, the, that's a quad cap scene. Oh my, Latino Heat pulling the miracle. 
cap. Yeah, I, I had to double check, make sure Cool Jerk was gonna die. But what a quad cap! I was holding my breath there, Moosey, but holy crap, man! For a second there, I saw Yugi, Chris, almost saving the day, but the rebounds from the other hunter, I'm not sure who that was, but he saved the day, and Latina, he is going to be leading by 700 points. Oh my god, Moosey. Wow. <sighs> Cygnus, what a way to kick this show match off. Oh my, Moose. This I, reminder, I, everybody, this is brought to us by NewGamesNinja.com. They're throwing in $100 for the winning team. As well as giving us some signed, uh, uh, excuse me, some posters. All you have to do is have placed a bet on the uh, uh, website. And also, during this cast, we're giving away two signed mouse pads. I, of course, am Justin Moosey Meyer who signed them. You know, I'm trying to pretend like I have fans of, I think maybe there are, you know, two or three people, Cygnus included, who would really love a Justin Meyer Moosey signed mouse pad. And Cygnus, <laughs> do you remember how you go about getting one of those? Uh, I believe you signed up for NewGamesNinja.com, sir. Yes, so uh, sign up. We're going to be announcing email winners. We'll start. We'll uh, announce the email without the inclusion of the, uh, you know, at Hotmail, at Gmail, at uh, Left for Dead. I don't know what what your emails are, but yeah, I'm just so so excited. Cygnus, this game is already shaping up to be one of the best I've ever casted. And do you, you know how much we have left? There is at least two or three hours more, and wow, I just. If this is what it's going to be like the entire time, I just, wow, I can't even fathom how, I, I can't, I, I, I don't know what to say, Moosey. Yeah, so, uh, by the way, everybody, join us in the eRev Network chat. eRevin is uh, what you're looking for. And looks like we have uh, the survivors making their way out. Boomer coming in for the Boomer Bunny, whiffs the bunny hop, and we have two hunters getting dead stuff, Smoker gets a pull. But again, that's the eRev Network Steam Chat. You can join us in there for chat, for fun, you know, for just fantastic shenanigans. If you don't know what the eRev Network Chat is, just search on Steam, eRev, so E-R-E-V, and then throw in an N. So E-R-E-V-N, and it'll come up. Or you can just take a look at myself. I am eRevin Moosey. You can add me for shoutouts, which we'll be getting to when we have a chance. But we're so busy with this Cygnus. Oh my god, and ID doing the smart thing getting in there to try and avoid any extra damage. They are obviously pretty upset about what just happened there, getting quad capped. But we are going to see this hit coming in pretty soon. I think the hunter is growling. But looks like he may just be going for a distraction. He's going to bounce around over there. But yeah, I never double defeat taking this really carefully. They definitely don't want to get quad capped again. That is always so annoying. We're going to see this smoker pull Yugi, get him separated. Hunter coming in for the disruption, but Bill was able to dead stop him, saving his teammate Yugi, but he gets repounds. Yugi is going to be able to clear him, but wow, that was a interesting but very good attack, Moosey. Yeah, from a 198, it dropped down to a 181. And Horde is still trickling in, doing a bunch of damage. And well, I am just... You know, that that was a fantastic right click by Killatoy. And, uh... Well, the tank is up. If you guys want to know more information about these players, on the Moosey Pants for my YouTube, I did interviews with them all, as well as myself, because I'm an egotistical little guy who likes to pretend like I have fans. Uh, so check that out on YouTube after the cast. We have two survivors boomed, we have a hunter and a smoker, and the tank is so far away. It's an Antonio tank. And this is such a long tank, especially with the removal of the honey rifle here, Signet. So maybe we should keep it here in Erev for at least until the tank commit. That sounds good, Moosey. We're going to see this tank try to move an edible, it looks like. But the survivor should be okay. He's going to toss a rock. He's not going to land, though. Alright, he's going to the spot that almost every team takes this tank, which is around this train. And so many teams take it here simply because it is so easy to juke around and try to avoid those edibles. And, yep, the, yeah, there's really nowhere else to take it. Yeah, with the removal of the honey rifle especially, we're going to see a lot more rock tanks, which means you get to hear myself and Skylar, also known as Cygnus' voice. So you guys should be excited for that. And uh, while well, this tank is just playing with his forklift like it's a new Hot Wheel, everybody let your friends know about this, because, well, the more people we get, the more often we get to bring you casts like this. We have hunters coming in, and the boomer coming in as well. Everything's shut down. And Miguel is a tank. I believe it was someone else to start the uh, Cygnus. Is this the second path? Or it's the already passed, pass? yes, sir. 
Wow, so Miguel is stuck on the ground. He's got to keep rage, and he lost a thousand HP almost right there. He's going to sit in the trees, and well, let's have the Latino hate war for him. 0.5 top. Especially with our spawns coming up now. So make a move, yeah, make a move what you want to do know. now. What and while they're means? trying to while the they're dumpster? trying to cut you off, while they're trying to cut you off, I'm gonna, we're gonna throw this in. All right. So go where you have to go. All right. All right. To call when you want us in. I'm ready. I'm you pulling Kush for you. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Get him. If you get him stumbled up back there. Get him. Oh. Oh. Wow, I got dude. fucking melee. Dude, That's you need rage bad. Sword. This isn't really good shit. No, it's not. Can't boom anywhere, man. Need to do something. I need something. I need something now. No, nope. <laughs> fucking dumb. All right. Shit. Don't this is AI. I... Damn, dude, that was shit. No boomers. Well, All right. Well, uh, let's bring it back just, here. Just... Since this tank is AI and he's just gonna run in and try and punch survivors. We're gonna see an attack happening right here. Looks like a 200 smoker combo. And well, if this tank can cap somebody, which doesn't look like he's gonna be able to, Cygnus, uh, looks like we may see Latino Heat holding for another quad cap. And I would love to see that, Moosey, but I'm kind of upset that this uh, tank was actually win AI. I was not expecting that in the slightest. That's usually the worst thing you can do as a team, but um, I can't criticize them. They won Sevo, I didn't, and they just pulled off an amazing quad cap on ID. So. Uh, I'm sure what they made was the best choice in mind for them. And we're well, gonna see this quad pretty soon. Let's head back to Latina War Room for the squad cap. Mm -hmm. Come on. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm gonna go. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. go. Shit, the melee, the hunter got melee. Let's bring it back here to you, Rev Cygnus. Yeah, uh, 100 pounds to pull, and there was a dead stop, which means that attack is just wrecked. Yeah, ID was not having any of that after map 2. You know, they're probably, like I said earlier, they were probably upset after that. And, you know, they obviously are turning it up to the next level, because they do not want that to happen again. So even if that smoker pull did not land on one of the hunters, he obviously got the dead stop, that was not going to happen. Absolutely not. Uh, yeah, ID is just really on the next level, as you said. Right now at a 169 health bonus, which is fantastic after that tank. Especially because they had no honey rifle. We have two hunters making their way in. Boomer coming. Boomer's going to barely whiff the boom. And some miscoordination right there. Another smoker pull is pound signal. Do you think Latino Heat is over-celebrating about their quad cap? Or is ID just making it impossible for them to do anything else? I have no idea, Missy, but... Uh, it seems like some pretty bad miscoordination by the team of Heat, they keep going for the... I think the mentality was they wanted to go for the split survivor, and they ended up, like, tunneling on one survivor, which was, I believe it was Zoe being played by Cool Jerk, who was over by the car. But, you know, um, that's never a great idea. You might want to... they might need to start calling <laughs> targets. But as we see, these hunters are bouncing around looking for... Pounces onto Yugi, but they keep missing the landing on two of the survivors, though. Bill and Yugi got caught. The smoker missed his pull, though, and the boomer got popped before he was able to do anything. So right now, Cygnus, we have a 158 health bonus. They've lost just a couple points, and looks like they're going to fight down in this room, which I used to think there was a destructible wall on it, but actually it's just the back window, and it's pretty impossible to do any damage in there. So we're going to see probably around a 130, 140 for ID, which is astronomical for this map. This map is so... So long. Definitely, considering how well they played that tank, it's just so impressive to see them make it after what happened on map two. You would have never expect this, but you know, like I said earlier, they just really turned up the heat, so to say. Turning up the heat, oh, Cygnus. You know, I gotta applaud you, but that was <laughs> awful. That was awful. I'm sorry, Missy. So, ladies and gentlemen, Cygnus. Uh, he found out that my original co-caster was just not going to be here, and he's just like, you know what? I am 100% on that. I love this community. I love everybody, so I am here for you. And we have a smoker grunt for a pullout. Looks like they're probably going to sack and have a boomer die last trying to set up a quad. But Cygnus, why do you love this game so much? I can't really say. 
you know, there's been a lot of times where I'm just so frustrated with this game and I'm not happy with how, you know, things happen, but there's something about this game that I just love so much and I really don't want to stop playing. And I, I can't really point it out, Moosey. I guess it's just the feeling you get when you as a team are able to kill another team, you know, and just that team spirit you get going is just so awesome sometimes that I love it. Yeah, Latino Heat definitely had that team spirit riding high after that quad cap that we just saw a few minutes ago. But then with a 145 health bonus right there from ID, that is uh, astronomical for this. And we're going to see both teams say that they're ready again. Uh, hopefully, I believe. Uh, just to make sure that we're giving the infected time to set up. And here we are ready. We have 100 spawn growled already. This map is still kind of screwed up. We have a smoker run for a pull. Hunter making his way in way too early. Boomer is shut down. Still a 200-200 signal. Up until a scratch happened. Yeah, that uh, Hunter kind of just seemed like he gave up on the pounce. Just went for a scratch. Probably gave him more damage than he would have gotten. In fact, I think it will. Let's see, he would definitely not let 100 do more than one damage right after landing a pound. So we're probably going to see this tank spawn up pretty quickly as they are making their way across the train. And we're going to talk for a little while longer just because the tank takes is going to take quite a while to get in. But Yeah, so uh, let's just talk a little bit about Left 4 Dead as, at its basis. For those of you who don't know, Left 4 Dead is just a zombie shooter. And actually we're going to see an attack right now. We have three hunters making their way in. Boomer coming out of the trees. We see a two cap. Boomer gets the boom on two. All the hunters are taken out down to a 190 health bonus. But as this horde is taken out... Uh, at this game's basis, it's four versus four, as you can clearly see. And you're either survivors or infected. The infected have special spawn types. The hunter, which pounces. The smoker, which uh, will get a pull. The boomer barfs all over people and spawns zombies. And we see this big, brawly, steroid-induced thing played at once again by Killatoy. So, can we see another Killatang signal? Maybe, sir. Maybe, and I'm definitely hoping so. As we're going to see moving in up to the normal spot where tanks will normally throw rocks against the team hiding behind the train. So, actually, uh, just, just a little bit of background about the Killa Tank. Why we keep calling it the Killa Tank? Killa is widely known as one of the best rock throwers in this game. He loves to just chuck rocks. We have the Smoker Ghost for a pull. Hunter gets the boom on two. Hunter barely, or excuse me, Tank barely misses the rock. Hunter landed on somebody, but Killa Toy is about to pass this. And with 0% rage, he still hasn't passed it. And up until where he passed it to Kush. And Kush is going to play with this hittable just a little bit, Cygnus, and wait for his spawns to come up. Yeah, trying to land some uh, hitbox rocks. I don't know if you guys know what those are. But the rock hitbox is usually, uh, it is a lot larger than it would have seemed. So sometimes you can hit survivors that are hiding behind that train by just tossing it to the side. But the survivors place themselves so that would not happen. Boomer spawning up actually in the trees, manning a proxy onto Yugi. The hunter is on top, looking like he wants to DP, but I Let's think he's waiting for Let's go to the ID war room as they commit with this tank. There we go. Nice pull too, dude. Just remember, we can't let this go AI, so if you have to, at all costs, just push that shit in. Like right now, you're <laughs> getting close. Hey, hey, yes. Get that forklift. The... Get that forklift. Amazing rock. Oh, get it right that out, get it right dude. Out. All you, all got it, you, got it. all you magic! Oh my god. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Time your hits. They're going inside. Uh, uh, land boom first if you can. I don't think I'm going to be able to, to be honest. He's going to have to push in one direction and we're going to have to flush him. Alright, tank, go. Go in, push from there. <laughs> End that shit, dude. End that. It's all you, baby. Time those punches. Very nice. Nice. Alright, <laughs> good shit. Nice. Francis? Ugh, come on, Horden. There's another hard come. Great job, Coach. Good job. Great job, you guys, man. I'm so nervous. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you landed. Well, I guess Coach is lagging out. I'm gonna assume we're back. 
And wow, I, all I can say is that tank was just so good. Kush getting in there, working multis, working several hits, and all the survivors spreading the love. The only one left with solid is Julio playing uh, Zoli right now, also known as Nocturnal. And all the survivors are bleeding right now. From what I can see, there are only two pills, and they are just... Wow, they did, that tank did so much more work than the team he's saying. As we're going to see these hunters are growling, the boomer's going to go for a boom, but managing to miss, getting popped by Antonio. The smoker's going to get a separation ball on the Lewis, one of the hunters getting skated, and the other one getting cleared right before falling. Miguel is going to be able to clear, but Lewis is in cap down below. He is going to have to go down and help him out. And man, wow. Just ID is just picking up the pace so much. It seems like Latino he is falling apart. We're gonna, yes, sir. Uh, this is me testing. Uh, checking. Uh, I think my internet has stabilized. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for four Cygnus. Uh, I apologize to you mostly, Cygnus, because, well, why would I apologize to the community? We have a boomer getting popped right there. <laughs> but I think my internet is working again. I had some gigantic leg spikes, as did my roommate, who is currently playing WoW in the other room. So shout out for me to him. You know, you should be playing Left 4 Dead and watching my cast right now. <laughs> it's alright, Missy. Looks like we're going to see a quad cap attempt, though, Cygnus. Definitely, sir. We do see three hunters that and a smoker. I really can't wait to see if this is going to happen. This could put ID in, or at least close enough to catch up, I believe. Hunters are going in, and oh my Hunt god, no, we got another quad, quad cap. cap! Oh my see, god! Two quad caps in one match, uh, this is off real Cygnus! This is... oh my god, Moosey. Uh, wow, back to back quad caps, this is... This is nothing short of amazing, and oh my god, I think ID is in the lead now! Uh, yeah, <laughs> wow. Okay, that's that's uh incredible. You know, ID finished with such a high health bonus on the last map. And I apologize, I'm still trying to get my internet issues worked up. I'm actually getting some reports that the stream may be laggy. Uh, guys, keep sending me your reports on that. If it's just you, well then, that sucks for you. But if it's actually a stream thing and I get a whole bunch of information about it, then we will see what we can do. Um, but, Cygnus, this is showing how evenly matched these two teams are. We've seen a quad cap on map 2 and map 3. We're not seeing wipes with these tanks, but... And I think I might be lagged out again. Am I? Uh, I can see you in the server. Well, I can't cast right now. Um, Because I can't okay. see what's going on. I guess I can take a... Oh, that pause. Well, this would be uh, an opportune time to see what your problems are, Missy. And I got some shoutouts. Uh, I'm not sure if I can read all of them, but I will read most of them. I have a shout-out from Urza to myself, Dat Team Spirit, homo 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 homo. I got two shout-outs from Shame, I think. Shout-out to Cool Jerk, whole NSC, or non solus S, his European team left for it too. Is in Mumble and going to have an epic flame war commentating every mistake Cool Jerk makes. And he has another shout-out saying, non solus S is going crazy about ID's play right now. I have a message from Soulstar to myself, sick news. And I think one more. I could be wrong though. But we are coming out of the pause, so just in time. How are you, are you doing? Okay, Missy? Well, I guess Missy is still having problems, but this tank is going to be into play. Um, in the hands of Cool Jerk, it looks like he's going to work in one of the cars right away. So we're not going to go in quite yet, I'm not I don't think. But um, like I said, he is going to work these hittables in, and the team is going to be playing it on the Humvee. And without the HR, this tank could be so powerful. HR or tanks always just got ripped up from that point, the, from that spot where the survivors are taking. But it looks like they're just going to try and line of sight him, which, if you don't know, is basically just trying to make it so the tank does not get raided. And like I said, we're actually going to see this tank just pass it right here now. Passing right, so the push. Welcome back, Missy. Uh, you are very, very welcome. Ooh. Force us to go to war room. You sound like you were struggling just a little bit. There. Uh, we have an AI hunter getting demolished. But as soon as we see all three spawns up, yeah, we're gonna head right back into the ID war room. See how they're gonna handle this. Another Kush tank. You guys ready? Oh, I got a spawn right here. Leave that dumpster there. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 
That's not. I'm not gonna be able to do anything over here. Plus. Oh. oh my god. Try to get him in a dumpster. Dumpster. Uh. Whoa! Aha! Uh -huh. Uh, he should have left that dumpster in there. Hmm. Nice try. try. I think we would have been better off to try to play a lot here. Yeah. Oh, wow. No more free booms, come on. Taking him there. Can't climb that ladder. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't climb yeah, that ladder. So I think we should bring it back here, as this tank is pretty much dead. Uh, yeah, definitely missing. So oh, wow. there were some very near, near misses with those dumpsters. I was like, I was both hoping for dumpster wipes and also hoping. Oh, I hope they can barely, barely dodge them. But uh, I'm I'm still getting a bunch of people asking me for shoutouts. I'm sorry, we just haven't had the time. We'll get to them eventually. But for right now, this is a utterly fantastic gameplay segment. Kush is finally passing the tank. It is AI down to 69 health and is gonna die. And oh my God, I'm seeing another quad attempt. Oh my God! Yeah, it's coming making in already. Internet. The one here getting skeeted by I believe it was Prince is also played by Julio. Uh, also knows Nocturnal. But wow, that looked like it was gonna be so close. But the hunter just got team skated, and damn. I was uh. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Fine. No All right. At the very base of the game, uh, when a survivor shoots a hunter out of the air, it's called a skeet. For the term skeet shooting, which is with clay pigeons and everything, the hunters kind of remind people of clay pigeons. And there's been a whole bunch of practice shooting those hunters. You know, th both these teams are just phenomenal at getting the skeets. But, uh, yeah, I'm possibly lagging out again. I'm going to, in our break after this, restart my router. But we have Boomer getting the boom on one. We have an attack making its way in right now. Capping the green survivors would be fantastic. Boomer dropping in for some clap. We see a smoker go for a pull, get cleared, and go for a pull again. Boomer is just running around, punching people in the face. And Smoker's going to try and get out, it looks like. Hold another quad, and Latino Heat is just letting him run. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I kind of wanted to talk about the tank, though. It looked to me, I'm not too sure, but it seemed Julio or Nocturnal dodged an in-cap. I'm not sure if it was a god frame or if it was just this game being awkward with its hitables, but he got hit by the very tip of the garbage dumpster, and he didn't get in -capped. It had to either be a god frame or some weird thing that sometimes happens when you get hit by um, the carts of the garbage dumpsters, where they don't get in cap but they instead lose half of their health. I'm not sure what happened there, but it looked like they dodged a bullet there. No matter what Cygnus, happened. Yes, we sir? have another quad. These quads oh are just my happening God. so often. Dude, this is unreal. This is amazing. I can't. I can't even fathom the thought of them getting another quad, but if it happens, dude, I'm just gonna go insane. Yeah, so we have three hunters spawned up right now. We're gonna see the squad attempt very, very quickly. Hunters making their way on Smoker's gonna go for a pull! We have one hunter landing, one hunter dead stopped, and the other one finally cleared. That looks so close again to Signet. 143 health bonus for Latino Heat, though. Damn, Moose. It's... <laughs> wow. That was just so close once again. And while we have some notes... I have a shout out that someone really wants me to read. Shout out from Grim Coves to Crop. Why are you mad though? Anyways. We're gonna see the Tina Heat move up here pretty quickly. And we're probably gonna see one more hit before the infected or the survivors make it all the way. Anyways, the hunters are coming in. I think this is another quad cap, but no, there is a boomer instead, and he can't find a spawn. Hunters are all going to get cleared before anything too bad happens, though. They do get a good amount of chip, but the boomer goes in for a three bag, as Twiz so awesomely dubbed it. Yes, for those of you who have been paying attention to Left 4 Dead, Twiz is actually no longer with Erev TV. He has moved on to a bigger and better place at EL TV. So congratulations to Twiz. You know, we're going to miss you, buddy, but, well, 
I am Justin Musumeyer, and now I run the show. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so, Latino Heat making it in with a 129 health, bringing their score to 1374. And I cannot remember what, how far ahead uh, ID was coming into this map. I can check her in just a second, unless you know it off the top of your head, Cygnus. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What did you say? <laughs> I, I really right. apologize. No, that's fine. Looks like uh, Latino Heat is ahead by 800 points now. We have the boomer dropping in, gets the boom on one, two survivors. Hunter getting a cap up top, and wow, that is going to do so much damage. And boomer stumble actually saved the survivor. The boomer stumble and dead stopped a hunter in midair. That should have been so much more damage. That was a gigantic stroke of luck for Team ID. And wow, just catching, I believe it was Kush at the top of the, <laughs> at the rate right of the opening of the save room there, was so key to them getting that, I believe it was 20 or at least 25 damage. That was just so much damage right out of the safe room. You normally never see those attacks do that much damage. And wow, that was just so perfect once again. But like you said, the boomer stumble did manage to knock both the hunters off of what they were doing. And yeah, that was just awesome. So Twiz, er, you're not Twiz, you're Cigna. Cigna <laughs> something that we haven't seen, I, I don't think I've ever seen. The tank actually ran back and grabbed an extra dumpster. So he's going to have so many hittables to play with here. Survivors are going to count two dumpsters, and they're going to be like, oh, that's that's fine. We have the boomer getting the boomer Three on dumpsters, one. actually. Yeah, uh, oh, survivors are going to count one. two, and then tank is going to have an extra dumpster to play with. So he's going to hit these hittables in, and we have the boom survivor completely hurted. And we have the attack coming in right now. Tank is going to go for this car. Car is an instant in cap, and we have do cap right there. Tank misses the punch on the car. Going for another punch and missing the punch again. These cars are so hard to punch from the front, and the car barely, barely misses all the survivors. Julio is the tank, and he is continuing to do uh, just some running around, trying to keep himself alive, trying to hit somebody with a dumpster, and Julio is going to pass this tank over to Miguel. It's a Griffin tank, ladies and gentlemen. Be excited, be scared, because this is a tank with 3,400 HP and still three handables to play with. Smokers up, going to go for a pull forward. Tank is going to hit our eventually. Continue to take just a little bit of chip. But we're going to see a smoker and a hunter making their way in for a separate two cap car. And caps oh! two people! This Miguel got the in cap on two people, but got stumbled by the boomer! The survivors might actually be able to kill a tank before he can kill the survivors down to 1200 HP. Continuing to hurt the. We have Lewis oh, getting my hit God. down too. Tank at 500, 400, 475 health. Killtoy almost dead right now. Zoe has to kill his tank if she wants her team to win. Killtoy is dead. That is going to, I believe, end this. For Latino Heat is going to be winning map. Or campaign one of Death Toll. We have tank with 475 HP. Yugi with the Uzi ripping into the tank. We have three survivors up, so they can probably still make 800 points necessary. We have Smoker go for a pull. Boomer Stumble actually saves him from the smoke, and they're going to chase the tank away. ID is just. They have to be aggressive. They know it. They're just going to run forward. They're saying, you know what, tank? Screw you. We're leaving. And Miguel is passing this tank to the AI control. But Cygnus, this is awesome. Oh my god, Missy, I just, I think my neighbors got a little access when I screamed, but oh wow, that hittable is just so good. Take out two of the survivors, and then on the rebound, hit another one, and he managed to kill Killatoy while doing all of this. Uh, SI is coming in, though. One of the hunters is getting skeeted by Cool Jerk. Other one is hesitant to go in, though. The smoker getting a pull on one of the boom survivors, but Cool Jerk dead stopping the other hunter, and he's just dealing with these hunters right now. Cool Jerk, the master of Minnesota. The, uh, the, that's, that's all I got. Cool Jerk is from my <laughs> home state of Minnesota, and I love the guy because he's awesome. And we have ID make forward. AI tank finally makes his way in. 60 health, and he's going to just die to somebody sneezing on him. And tank is finally taken out, so we're going to see two, three more attack, and we're going to see 300, or three cappers, three survivors, which is never a, uh, a fair thing to see, Cygnus. No, sir. It's always way, way too much to handle. But I have a feeling that ID is going to be able to pull through this. And if they can't, well, that's just too bad. And Latino Heat will just be further in the lead than they need to be. So we're going to see a boom landing on two of the survivors. Two of the hunters pouncing in. They're landing on two. The smoker managed to pull loose. And we do see a tri cap. We do and see a tri cap. So Latino wow. Heat is going to win campaign one. So Latino Heat has won. We are going to head to. Asking what map we're headed to. We're going to be going to Latino Heat server here in just a moment. So we're going to take a small break here. I assume it'll be about five minutes here at Erev. So guys, go to the bathroom, go get yourself some water. 
you know, we'll be back here at 6, 7.20 Eastern. We will be going live again. So that's seven minutes. Go, go, go. Uh, no, we can... Uh, we're, we're not going to drop the stream. We're just going to put up an overlay, and uh, we're going to mute ourselves. So, guys, uh, we will see you again in about six minutes.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we here at EREV TV are back and excited to bring you some more Left 4 Dead action. I am Justin Moosey Meyer, and with me, I have Skylar Cygnus Sloat. How are you doing, Cygnus? I'm doing great, Moosey. Coming off of that death toll, 1 to 4, it was just so action packed, man. Do you want to give us a rundown of what happened exactly? Well, we saw a 8 point difference after map 1. We saw Latino Heat Quad ID on map 2. We saw ID Quad Latino Heat on map 3. And then map 4, we saw a sick tank by Latino Heat to get three in caps with car, one kill. Killatoy took a nosedive. So that is why we are here on Blood Harvest, which is ID's choice. And a very good choice indeed, Moosey. This has been, a, I believe, a community favorite for as long as I can remember. At least it's been, I don't know about the community, but it's been my favorite. I've always loved playing Blood Harvest. So, so I'm really segment. excited to see how this is going to wind. This show match is being brought to us by whom and what are they putting up? This is being brought to us by New Games Ninja, and they are putting up, I believe, $100. And one posters and mouse pads. Yes, so uh, the people who did some bets have a chance to win some posters. And if you sign up for NewGamesNinja.com within the time frame of this cast, at the beginning of map 4, we will be announcing one of the winners of the mouse pad. It's signed by Justin Musi Meyer. That's me. And then also on Suicide Blitz map 4, we will be announcing that. So you guys should be excited. Uh, I'm going to announce the first part of the email. So if your name is idyugi at l4d.com, I will say idyugi has won. But if it's, you know, skaterboy869 at yoohoo.com, not sure why that would happen, but uh, then you would kind of look like a fool. So make sure you use your proper email addresses, not your spoof one. But here we go again, Cygnus. We are live here on Blood Harvest. We're going to see ID playing infected first. And this is one of the biggest choke points right off the bat. Why don't you give us a rundown of what actually happens with this tech? Well, there are so many variations of this tech at this point that I don't know what to expect, especially with these two teams. I believe they both have their own style of what they're going to do here. But sometimes, you know, we see a pull back. Sometimes we see a pull into the tree. Sometimes we just see a pull forward. And there are just so many boomer spawns, so many hunter spawns. Uh, I don't know what to expect, Moosey. We'll well, looks like everything's setting up behind it, except for a smoker. Smoker's going to pull forward, and we're going to see everything come from behind when the survivors try to run back down the cliff. We have hunters making their way in. Boomer spawns. Boomer, boom, two. We have a hunter pouncing up top. We have two hunters pouncing up top. The one green survivor taking a whole bunch of damage. Excuse me, there are two. And Smoker's going to get out. Looks like it's going to be a standard attack. Decent amount of chip happening right there, and we have an F pause. Looks like we have a crash. So, Cygnus, I have so many shoutouts, I'm just going to start powering through them. Go ahead, sir. All right, well, I have two shout-outs from Kusht. Kusht says, shout-out to Gnut, much love. And also, from Kusht to Vindexus, New Games Ninja, Moosey, Nightcrawler, and Cygnus. Keep up the great work. You guys are awesome. That's from Team ID. We have, uh, let's see here. We have from Bowflex and Latino Heat, go get them, Tigers. Show the world. Look at the passion in your eyes, the thunder in your thighs. Lovely, lovely. Uh, we have shout out to the L word from Gerald. Thanks for being a good bunch of guys over the years. Uh, shout out to Cyber Demon for being the best Euro. That's from Tank. Uh, Sora AI, or I don't know how to pronounce your name. Shout out to Moosey. I pulled an all nighter and now I'm watching the show match. I was tired, but after Moose, <laughs> after Moosey's amazing roar, I am wide awake. Oh. Um, Proxy says shout out to Moosey for. Uh, well, I can't read that one. Uh, well, shout out to Cygnus, giving us joy by pronouncing Miguel as Miguel. And shout out to Moosey <laughs> for being confident enough to scream on the air for two hours straight. <laughs> Do you have any more? Because I have some shout outs that I need oh, to say. I have, I have so many. Uh, Beer says the other announcer sounds like he's laughing every time, laughing every time they speak. So, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> DTN says shout out to Marks. Hell yeah! Uh, Fever says shout out to Cygnus. Why are you casting your bad? Nobody likes you. Aww. Bio Biochemical says shout out to Moosey. Keep up the amazing work. 
Uh, Narwhal says, shout out to Zone, be my girl. Shout out to Ninja Bum. I kissed your dad and he liked it. And Skater Boy uses admins pubs. Uh, Scar says, my voice is a little laggy. And shout out to Moosey for making Left 4 Dead fun for me again. And shout out to Nightcrawler for being sexy and capturing all these great games. And wow, we are live again. And I still have so many shout outs, Cygnus. <laughs> Well, I guess we have to wait till another, another F pause to the next ready. Yeah. But as for now, it seems like he is getting pounded by this common horde. We should see a he coming in it as, as soon as I say that. We're going to see Smoker Pull separating Bill. Both Hunters going in for innocence, but they didn't manage to clear the Smoker Pull. Boomer running on three of the survivors. The Hunter are getting cleared. Boomer is just going in for right clicks right now, destroying the survivors. And the Smoker is still up right clicking as well, finally getting cleared by Visceral, also known as Santiago. And wow, that was just so much shit, Missy. Yeah, survivors at a 173 health bonus. And generally you want to make it out of there with like an 185 or 190 after those first two attacks. But sometimes you'll see, you know, down to like a 130. It's very, very rare to see a wipe happen that early. But this tank, Cygnus, on the Rotoblin Hardcore configuration with a limited number of melees, no pills on the map otherwise, aside from the four, and no fire, is very, very deadly. We're going to see one hunter already spawned up in the trees. It's going to be a standard attack coming in here. It looks like... No, this is going to be a dirty 3-1, which is three hunters, one boomer. We have all the hunters making their way in right now, coming from different angles. We have one in cap right there, too. And boomer comes in, gets a boom. One, two, three bag, and hunter on Francis tore his guts out. 159 health bonus, Cygnus. Wow. That... Wow. Miguel got destroyed by the hunter. And I'm sorry, there's no other, I can't pronounce that name any other way, so you guys can laugh at me, but that's how I'm going to say it. But, wow, that was a lot of chip coming on to uh, Francis there, Missy. Yeah, uh, well, excuse me, uh, we have the, <laughs> the uh, tank is up and it's another killer tank. Let's head to the ID war room. Yeah, you're going to have to start committing. You guys want to go? We can go. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to get Santiago. Down him, he didn't take his pills. Good shit. I got the last one. Let's Bro. cover this. Nice, right, good. Pinche, pinche. What did you say? He's up in the uh, five. I'm gonna need help. Real free, real free. Down and down, guy. Oh no. I mean, no. Down, down, down. We can maybe try to kill down, guy? I'm oh, not as always right there, clean. Segments, let's bring it back here to E Rev. And that tank did so much damage. Wow, yeah, really, it's so much damage. She, let's see, you know, he barely living through that tank. Miguel almost died there. It looks like he was able to survive being picked up by his teammates, and we should see another hit coming in pretty soon. But, yeah, um, that's going to be pretty difficult for ID to match. You know, they're either going to have to wipe them or do the exact amount of damage that was... Oh, what am I talking about? Let's see, you know, he, let's see, he is going to have to match that damage. And, uh, yeah. The Cygnus just losing his train of thought. We have the attack coming in right now. Uh, we have two hunters landing on complete separate survivors. Nice job right there. Smoker goes for a pull. Boomer gets a boom on two. 27 health bonus right now. It's going to continue to tick down. And ladies and gentlemen, no Cygnus has not lost his voice. One of the two following scenarios has actually happened. <laughs> the, the police were called because Cygnus screams like a little girl when quad caps happen. Or... Uh... The people that he lives with got home and they don't like loud noises. One of the two. We're not going to tell you which. But I would, uh... Uh... I... I'm trying to... I don't know why... <laughs> what I'm trying to say anymore. <laughs> Let's try this again. Cygnus is going to be arrested for casting Left for Dead. You guys... Pretty much. That's how much he loves you. Alright, so... Uh... Yeah, we have Latino Heat making it out with a very, very tiny health bonus. Their total score of 460, which I believe is a 23 health bonus? I'm, I'm not sure. My math is obviously going to be flawed. No, it's a 15 health bonus. So, here we have the attack. Spawned up already. We have some Pokemon for a pull forward. We have hunters jumping around. Do, uh, one getting Skeeter right there. I lost my train of thought two segments. 
don't you worry. And it looks like we're going to see the Boomer die last here for Latino Heat. And that's a sick rocket boom. That's why I love the Crutch Kids Boomers, because you can make booms out of nothing, sickness. Definitely sick. And I believe he died last, so we should be seeing another quad cap. And another f -Paz. wow. Alright, so back to shoutouts right now. Uh, from our tournament organizer, Vendexus, with NewGamesNinja.com. Shout out to Adamski5000, or from Adamski5000 to Nick, who did his first verses today. Congratulations to Nick. Uh, shout out to Cygnus from Random Person, whose name I won't say. For once, it's actually not me, and that's Carl Yevo. Wall Crawl, I never thought someone's voice could crack more than yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eh? Okay, anyway. Um, from Sick Mambo? This makes my hangover better. And when... Or where can we get scrim and league demos? Can't find any online? You know what? Maybe I'll make these guys upload these demos. Actually, I'm sure they didn't record, but I'm sh at least one person had to have recorded from each team. So I'll, I'll do my best to give you guys some demos. Those will be uploaded. Uh, you can find the link on www.newgamesninja.com once we get all that sorted out. Uh, shout out to Deadly for his, uh, happiness. Um, let's see, what else do I got here? I got so many still. I got a sad face from Proxy because I couldn't read one of his shout outs. I have Yugi asking me how many viewers we're getting, so if Pele, who is listening, could send me a PM, uh, we can talk about how many viewers we have because this should be huge. I think we have people from Reddit, from 4chan, from Team Liquid, from everywhere that you can dream of, and looks like we're live again here, Signal. But I'd yes, be taking sir. so much less damage off that starting attack than Latino Heat did. 194 health bonus making their way across the bridge. And people are worried that we're not going to see Suicide Blitz if uh, Latino Heat wins. We still will! There's a bonus prize thrown in for to make the teams play map 3. And we're going to see a standard attack, not a uh, quad cap sickness. So I believe it was a Latino Heat member who crashed. Yes, sir. Well, uh, Hunter making some very, very big pounces up top, just asking to be shot out of the air. And what is that? That's a quad, sir. No, when when a Hunter gets shot out of the air. Oh, that's a skeet. Cygnus, Sorry, we... <laughs> yeah, Cygnus, um, you're fired. Get out! <laughs> Alright, so, we have ID just chilling, taking his You know, they're, they're being very, uh... Very, very safe survivors, as they uh, definitely should be, because they do want to win this hundred dollar. And we have a hunter, two hunters making their way in right now. Killjoy eating a twenty-four damage pounce. Nice hunter cover right there. Boomer gets a boom on one survivor, and the hunter almost got out. Killjoy down to half health, and there is a little bit of uh, what you would like to call chip. Yes, sir. Killjoy pretty much the only one that's taken damage so far, but that's only because really he ate a DP. Yugi is uh, boomed in the back there, but we should see a tank spawning in. Smoker also trying to get a pull towards the car, but nothing really going to happen there. And we do see a goose tank. It's a goose tank. Let's head to Latino Heat War Room. Nice rock. Uh, boom rubs. Don't let him push that choke, man. We're playing a little more pressure tank. Shit, dude, they're running right by you. Hunter's Please, they're getting the up. You need to up. punch straight into spawn. Ready? Hold on, ready? Uh huh. Go. Dead. Sorry if I killed you, I mean. Nothing you could do, man. I don't know if I can get a boomer for you, I'll try. Oh, he's down, he's down. Nice, nice boom. You got a boomer support in the back. Easy on that ship, Tank. Nice, nice, nice. Good, bro. You, should, you should back up a little and throw rocks. We'll have spawns up. Nice again. Nice. You got some support coming up, two, two SI. We should go in right now, ready? Smoke somebody. Good rocks, man, good rocks. Wow. I don't overextend really? yourself, I'm up in one. I'm, I'm gonna die, shit. I did what you told me not to do. You got two right, you can get a Two down, two down, two down. You can... Nice. I can stay up for 17 seconds. I'm gonna, I'll have another hunter. That was a, the Rage Rock. Shit. 
Go higher. We're not synchronized, that's the issue. You can get a kill on that guy. Or maybe. Got an 18. Good, good pounce, good pounce. Let's talk about synchronized. Well, I, we, we're just going in, pull, man. Pull, like, pull, pull. Get him off, get him off, get him off. Nice. Get up, let's get up. No boomer, gay. Okay. Got a quick pounce, pounce, pounce. Shit. Okay, oh, oh, whack him, whack him, whack him. Dumb. That sucks. Dumb. Wow, man. Let's bring it back here to Erev, and wow, Signet. That tank was just doing some serious, serious work. He was making a lot out of nothing. And, but unfortunately, ID making them with a 93 when that tank, I think, was played better by Latino Heat than it was by ID. Yeah, it's really too bad. We actually saw Killatoy. He is black and white right now, and on top of that, he was even closer to death than Miguel was. And, you know, it seemed like Killatoy should have died there, but, you know, obviously, ID was having none of that. They were able to pick him up right before he died. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see ID in the lead here by about 300 points. 312 points is actually the spread right now. 772 to 460. We have ID against Latino Heat. Again, this is brought to us by Vindexus over at NewGamesNinja.com. Giving $100 to the winning team of the show, Matt. As well as giving out some posters. And we're doing some Moose, Justin Moosey Meyer, that's me, signed mouse pads. So guys, you know, let everybody know about the show match. The more viewers we have, the better chance that we have Vindexus coming back to Left 4 Dead. As I know he loves it, and I love it, and well, I hope you guys love it. So, you know, just just get your friends here. And, uh, well, looks like we saw a little bit of miscommunication right there. Before, uh, both teams are supposed to say they're ready, and we had Chris just run straight out, and then he's like, oh, oops. So, again, here we have Latino Heat as the infected team, ID as the survivor side, and give us a little brief roster rundown, Cygnus, while you can. All right, well, on Inevitable Defeat, we have Kush, Cool Jerk, Killatory, and Yugi, also known as Chris. And on uh, Latino Heat, we have Antonio, Julio, Miguel, and Santiago. Also known as Nocturnal, Visceral, Goose, and Griffin, respectively. So the tank is up. We're seeing the smoker go for a pulldown. We have Chris baiting back and forth, barely avoiding that tank. And the tank is a Antonio tank. We're going to go to their war room here in just a moment. But for right now, uh, what we're going to see is the Boomer is AI, it looks like. So we're going to see possibly three Hunters going in with this tank, which would be super duper fierce. Yeah, I'm busting out all my best adjective signal, but that would be <laughs> very, very good for the tank. Yeah, definitely. Seeing a quad cap here with the tank would be just so perfect. And, you know, it's so rare to even see a tank quad cap. Probably more rare than it is to see a normal quad cap. But yeah, All right. this is just going to be so prime. So we have way in right there. And looks like we're going to see this attack happening in just a second. So, ah, uh, well. We have Latino Heat with two Hunters, a Smoker, their War Room go. You got the cap, you got it. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. nice. Oh, double clear through the freaking walls. Do whatever you can, man. Do damage. Come on, get some punches. There you go. Nice. Oh! Nice try. Uh, let's bring it back here. And that tank died just as he was about to land that multi. But Cygnus, two wind caps is definitely nothing to scoff at with that tank. Definitely not. Griffin did a very good job of playing that tank. And uh, there's no other way really to put it. He did as much damage as he could. He spread the love between Killatoy and Kuljir. I believe Yuki also took a punch, but, you know, he did his best, and that's what's important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> reminder, guys, sign up on new, NewGamesNinja.com because people who sign up today are going to be entered in a little drawing for a Justin Moosey Mike signed mouse pad. We have the attack coming in right now. We have 100 landing, 200 landing. Smoker's going to go for a pull, but down. Boomer gets the boom on, too. And Smoker is unable to actually get this pull. Uh, we have Smoker going for a pull again, and looks like he's about to die here. Continue to take some pistol chip, and last second kill by Killatoy right there. But we have uh, two green survivors who were the boomed ones, and the reds ones up top, so a bunch of chip happening to the health bonus signals. Yep, sitting at a 119 health bonus right now. 
And it actually just went up because they passed close to 124. We should see another hit happening. It looks to be outside. The hunters are setting up for DPs, it looks like. So we could very well see three DPs or maybe more. Or two. <laughs> more. Three or, or <laughs> two. Not three four, two. Cygnus. But Anyways, there's actually a going smoke. In. And yeah, actually a smoke. But uh, one of the hunters got dead stopped. Boomer managed to line up three. The smoker's done kept breaking. So we didn't we're going to see, see the smoker. He's going to run away, and we're going to see a last second quad attempt. I'm not sure if Latino is going to be able to get their spawns up in time. We have ID pushing forward, as they are very well known for doing. ID half quarantine, who would just push mercilessly. But now ID has picked up some more solid players who just really know the game, and they're able to shut down spawns, and it looks like they're going to be able to make it in the safe room pretty much unharassed. We have 100 spawned up, 200 spawned up, and that's going to be it for the attack signal. So ID is going to make it in with a 119 health bonus. Yeah, they really only took... Well, they lost about 5 health bonus from the building to the safe room, so they really didn't take remotely any chip. So ID making it with a very solid health bonus of 119. A reminder to everybody, check us out. We're in the Ereven network. So E-R-E-V-N. Uh, that's... You search that on Steam, we're, we have a bunch of people chatting away in our chat as we're waiting for our site to be updated. And I believe with our site update, Cygnus, which is very exciting, we're going to be having a live chat uh, with uh, just right next to the cast. I believe it's going to be an IRC client. I'm not sure. I might just be making all this up if one of the lovely admins or owners of Erev wants to let me know as this tank comes up. Uh, that would be fantastic. But we have a cool jerk tank. So no kill a tank right now, but this tank may pass into a kill a tank, and as we know, Cygnus, those are the deadliest of all tanks. As it may seem, we do see this hunters actually going in. It looks like they're trying to sack for different spawns. I'm surprised to see that they're keeping the smoker, it looks like. This could be interesting. They might try to separate one of the survivors when the tank pushes in, but I guess we're just going to have to see. Yep, so right now we have two Uzis, two shotguns, and the Uzi slows down the tank when he's running in and just does so much damage per second it's fantastic but here we have the tank we're gonna see a boomer a smoker and it's gonna be another hunter it's a yugi tank let's head to the id war room right now I got fucked up. Let's bring it back Jeez. here to Erev, and Latino Heat definitely played that tank much better than ID, taking such little damage. The only uh, mistake I really saw was Santiago just kind of getting stuck on the doorway and taking a punch from the tank sickness. Yeah, it was significantly less damage than what Latino Heat did with their tank. They had two of the survivors bleeding on ID, whereas ID did not get a single in cap. Two of the survivors, Antonio and Julio, it looks like, took the brunt of the hits with two punches each, it looks like. As we see another attack coming, a boomer landing on two of the survivors, as well as a hunter and a smoker landing on the two boom survivors. We were going in for a proxy, and the hunter's going to get a scratch before dying. Smoker is, looks like he's going to get away, and they are going to get a normal setup because I believe the hunter died after the boomer. Yeah, so it's going to be a standard attack, but a bunch of chip happening right there. That was actually more damage than the tank did, I think. It was not actually that big, but it was pretty comparable. And, uh, well, Latino Heat is going to run this crescendo. Looks like they are going to run up top and take it outside. So we're going to see, looks like, a standard attack. I already see a boomer and a smoker. That is the standard attack. Boomer, smoker, two hunters. We have the boomer spawned up up top and tried to go for a boom. That would have been a sweet boom right there. And looks like we're going to see Latino Heat having to fend off a... Oh, they're not actually holding for a... They are holding for a... So ID is holding for a last second quad here, Signal. And I personally hope that they land it. Yeah, I really want to see another quad. It's just been so awesome. Last campaign we had on Death Toll 2 and 3. Latino Heat quadded ID on map 3 of Death Toll. 
and on Mav 3 we had ID quad cap Latino here. So we're gonna have to see if ID can pull it off again. We have the hunter coming in, bouncing around, but we do actually see the boomer, so this is not a quad cap. Boomer getting popped, breaking the smoker's tongue, hunter managed to get a six damage pounce on Antonio, I would leave it was. We're gonna see Latini Heat make it in with a 134 health bonus. We did it. Can you I was just asked if uh it was actually legal to rush events. That was a an original rule, and then I was quickly scolded for it, and I removed it. Europeans do not rush events, but us Americans, that's we like to rush events because we are very impatient. So again, we have looks like Latino Heat pulling. Is it? I I don't even know who's who anymore. We have 1911 to 1677. I believe Latino Heat is still losing. Uh. I couldn't quite see. It is 1911 for ID to 1677 for Latino Heat. So that is definitely correct. And you know what, Cygnus? I think barring any pauses, we're just going to have to do the shoutouts in the break that we have for the players to just relax a little bit between this and Suicide Blitz. So yeah. uh, keep sending your shoutouts. You know, everybody get in the eRev network at and sign up for NewGamesNinja.com because they're bringing us this awesome show match. Support them, support Left 4 Dead. It's it's a great idea. So we have both teams saying they're ready already. Uh, so there's just going to be a straight rush up. The rule is implemented mostly for certain maps like No Mercy where you can't actually get an attack set up. And we're going to see a interesting, interesting attack. They're going to wait until they're outside, Cygnus. I haven't seen this since the days of the 360. Yeah, sir, that's definitely interesting. We're gonna see the hunter go and look for a stumble, but both the or one hunter got that stuff, but gets a repounce. Another hunter again going for another stumble. Smoker is gonna be able to pull Bill, but not for very long. He does not get cleared actually. The smoker got cleared, the tongue got cleared, but the smoker didn't die. Finally dying. We're gonna see a dirty moosey. Also known as three hunters <laughs> yeah. and one boomer. Three hunters, one boomer. I'm sorry, I was very distracted as my chat window exploded. I couldn't see down half the uh, side of my Left 4 Dead because people just really want me to say their name and say what they're saying to their loved one, friend, family, foe, I don't know. Uh, Cygnus, I'm going to break my shadow rule and say shout out from me to you. I love you. Thank you for helping. And I love you too, Moosey. Oh, such love here. We have the attack coming <laughs> in right now. We have 100 bouncing around. Unskeetable, he looks like. And 100 dead stops. 100 landing on Zoe up top. Boomer's going to drop in. This is going to be an easy boom. Boom's one. Only one survivor. And he's going to be taken down. But we're going to see a quad attempt if the tank does not spawn. And normally this is where we will see a tank spawn. And there it is. Going to be in the hands of Yugi, also known as Chris. And the team he does most likely going to take this back to where almost every team will take. And what we normally see here with the tank is the uh, survivor teams will chip the tank up top, but when we they hear spawns and they hear the tank moving and they will probably move it down the hill. And this is where it gets tricky because the tank can do one of two things. He can either throw rocks or he can try to commit with the boom or something like that. He can actually also go for the hittable that's closer to the entrance of the tunnels, I believe. Which is risky because the team can't, the survivors can juke around and, you know, avoid being hit. Absolutely. Uh, let's head to the ID war room as they push in with the sand. Let's, let's go. go. Wow. <laughs> no, they stopped going down the hill. <laughs> I got this guy pulled if you can cover this. Nope. <laughs> Gosh. That oh, that funny. was not fun at all. Where's <laughs> <laughs> the logo? Oh. I think you're lower than you actually are. We're gonna have to do good. <laughs> We're gonna have to do something. Uh, yep. You ready? Start going in. <laughs> Let's bring it back hey, here to Erev, Cygnus. And well, the Tino Heat made a judgment call. They rushed forward. They're like, this tank doesn't have very much HP. And well, the tank still had about half health. So they took a decent amount of damage. Looks like we see an F pause, but then a never mind. So here we are. Uh, unpausing again, and well, 
115 health bonus, but there is an in-cap second. Yes, sir, Missy. Uh, I was surprised to see that they rushed up so willingly, knowing that the tank... I guess they must have thought that the tank had less health than how much he actually did. But, you know, he had just enough to get in there and bring Miguel down. So that was definitely... Uh, I wouldn't say a poor choice, but it was probably um, a bad decision by the Tuna Heat. Yeah, uh, well, they're at a 133 right now, they're continuing to tick down, they still have three sets of pills, and we are going to see a quad attempt. Let's head to the ID War Room, see what they want to do with this quad. I'll see. Alright. They're all tunneling down that hundred. Well, what? Oh, oh, I got this tempo, God damn it. And Cygnus, that ah, smoker-hunter combo, just, uh, well, the, the smoker pulled and the hunter pounced it. I think that should have been an easy quad, though. Yeah, it was seemingly really easy. Two of the hunters that landed before the smoker pull it got pound got stumbled. They didn't get any dead stops. So it was looking for a second that like it was gonna land, but the smoker and the hunter landed on the same target, so that's really unfortunate for ID. And the Latina he is gonna make it in with a 130. Like a 130, bonus. 129. So Latino Heat definitely doing a good job. Uh, ID is going to have to come out of the gates and just be something fierce with their survivor side because they do not wanna fall behind. Uh, they are, reminded they are ahead by a couple hundred points right now, but definitely a wipe would put them so far behind, and that would just guarantee Latino Heat some money, pretty much. Francis. So we have all four survivors making their way out. We have a hunter go for a scratch right there. That's a Julio scratch. We just, we're going to see a very standard thing happening from Latino Heat. We see a little bit of damage. I just was told the chip is not a word I should be using. But, uh, well, I'm going to continue using it because chip is much uh, nicer to sound than damage. As the entire goal signal prior to a tank is to do damage to the survivors, also known as chipping them. So the tank can punch people down in three or four punches as opposed to the five that it would take from a 100 HP. Definitely, we'll see. And I believe there's also uh, some people sometimes say softening them up for the tank. But that would be less used than chip. We do see so we have an attack coming in right now. We have Latino Heat coming in with this quad cap. We have 100 mate landing, 100 skeeted. Smoke goes for a pull, and that attack was shut down. But Cool Jerk took a fair amount of damage right there. Uh, looks like he lost about uh, a quarter of his health. You know, I think he was friendly fired. There's not a whole lot of damage on the table for Latino Heat right now. Yeah, uh, that, that was probably two shotgun shots in the back. We now have a tank up, and this is going to be a Julio tank. Julio, of course, is Nocturnal, the creator of the Latino Heat Frag video. And, you know, we have some fantastic video makers on both sides right now. We, of course, have Visceral, the Hunter Man, who made the Hunter Pounces just so famous and, you know, just a YouTube sensation. So if you guys have never seen a Visceral video, you can uh, head to the New Games Ninja website to see how to spell his name. <laughs> it's kind of hard. And then you hop on YouTube and check it out. He's fantastic. But also, we have Killatoy, the Killa Tank himself, who makes so many videos. He actually just did one for me because, well, I don't know, he felt like he needed to pay me back for getting him. I have no idea. I'm just pretending. But we have a Santiago Tank. Let's go to the Latino Heat War Room. Let's go. Watch Shit, out, man. I'm tank. sorry. I... But you got your two boom. Yeah, but I've got already three th under 3,000 health. Nice. Good head, good head, good head. Good head. Good head. Good head. Nice. Very nice. I'm pulling Kush. Damn it! Uh, we okay, still okay. have your pull. I'm, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling Kush, pulling. Nice. Okay, he's got, got, got the pull. It's cleared. What is with my rocks, dude? No, no, I'm trying to get a little bit more damage. I'm getting out of here right now. Nice boom. Chris is on a timer. Yo, you two should go in. Two should go in on the greens. Go. Need more damage out of this. Yeah, we fucking do. Nice. Got a rock on Kust. Nice pull. Nice pull. Nice! nice. Got a rock on rock. someone else. I don't know who you that is. You got a rock but... right there. You got a rock. Same spot. Nice. Let's see. I got we got two up. seconds for you. Fuck, he's pushing me, dude. He's pushing me hard, too. You have spawns up second. Then I'm momentarily... They're gonna push so forward close. for sure. Let him, let him, let him. Let's, let's get, let's get a good hit in the hallway. Okay, go, go for it, go for it. 
I don't have a timer yet. Or I don't you got a down right there. Oh. Mm, I didn't want to do that, dude. They would have raped me. Good boom. Oh, what the hell? Let it go AI. Let it go AI so you get sure. a spawn. Mm -hmm. So you get a fucking spawn. Alright. No reason to send that in and just get a spawn yeah. timer. True. Well, True. let's bring it back here to Erev, as they have stated that they're AI in the tank and there's really nothing more to say about it. But Tank uh, had 3,000 HP when he got in there, Signal. But he was still able to make so much damage happen. Two of ID members taking a rock that they really shouldn't have. And, well, the, the tank did a lot more damage than I think anyone expected. Yeah, I was holding my breath there when the boomer was in. He did get a very good boom, but on top of it, he also stumbled his uh, friendly tank. We're gonna see the SI come in though, as I'm so rudely interrupted. The smoker is gonna get a pull on a bill. We were imagining to land on Lewis, and the other hand missing his DP. We're gonna see him bounce around. It looks like he might just try to stay up. But as I said, the boomer, on top of getting a three boom or a three bag, he also stumbled his friendly tank, and the tank took so much damage from that. And I feel like if that hadn't happened, that tank could have done a lot more damage. But on top, even though that happened, he did do quite a bit to Yugi, who got hit kept from a flying punch. That was just a lot of damage. A flying punch? I've never heard that a term flying before. Punch. Well, we have a standard I guess, tag I guess... happening right here. Boomer gets a boom on one. Smoker goes for a pull. 100 landed. It's going to be 200 landing. Nice humble right there. Bunch of damage happening right now. 105 health bonus. Tank is finally taken out. And we're going to see a one less tag, possibly by the safer. But ID taking a lot more damage off that tank. We're going to see a very, very close map coming into Blood Harvest 4 here. Cygnus. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't look like ID is going to get wiped here, unless Latina can, gonna, can get an amazing quad cap. But it doesn't look like they are going to be able to get one. And so we're going to see ID making it with less health bonus than no, 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 less health bonus than Latino Heat did. Yep, so we're going to see this one last standard attack happening right here. We have the green survivor all the way in back. Smoker spawned up and dropped down. We have two hunters making their way in. Nice ski right there. Kill a toy getting Antonio. Another hunter skeeted by Kush, and that attack was shut down so professionally, Cygnus. So we're still going to see a little bit of a lead for ID coming into this this final map of Blood Harvest as we are not playing the finale because we got to get excited for Suicide Blitz. We're already... What is this? Two hours into this cast segment, and we still have a gigantic campaign to go. Yeah. It, wow, this is such a close game. Do you see this right now? I believe it's a 50-point 50 50 point. game. Wow, this is just unbelievable. Considering that all there, were, uh, all that there was between Latino Heat and ID was 300 points in the first map, and Latino Heat was slowly working their way up. If they beat Lat if they beat ID this round, like if both teams survive and they just make it with a slightly larger health bonus, yeah, I believe that, uh, I believe this would make it a Latino Heat 2-0. It would be a Latino Heat 2-0, but fret not, ladies and gentlemen, because we're still headed to Suicide Blitz after this. So uh, be be excited, be pumped for that. It's going to be happening just after this. We're probably going to take about a five-minute break off air after this map, and then we're going to do a bunch of shout-outs and get all those out, and then we'll be heading into Suicide Blitz. Uh, oh, I'm just reminded that we need to do some... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some giveaway! So we have the Boomer coming in, and he's punched. So Vindexus, if you want to give me the information of our first winner of a Justin Moosey Meyer Mousepad, well, this attack is coming in, and it's a three cap, and there was a double stumble on France. Bunch of damage happening right there. So, well, uh, 186 health bonus. Cygnus, talk about it. Wow, that was just pretty much identical to what we saw in Death Toll 2, if you were watching earlier, ladies and gentlemen. We saw Latina Heat land a perfect attack. The only thing that didn't land this one was the boomer, but they still got the double stumble onto Francis. Both hunters landing at pretty much exactly the same time, and the smoker getting Cool Drake separated did so much damage to him. That was just a perfect attack once again. We hear our first witch, and witches, you must deal with every one of them, Cygnus, for this tournament, this show match that we're doing. So that witch has to be dealt with, no matter what. She has to be triggered. Uh, if she bugs out, that's fine. But if uh, if you avoid her, you forfeit the map. And, well, neither team can afford the forfeit. Definitely not, Moose. Because this is, like we said, so close. We're going to have to see how ID is going to deal with this switch. They might try to uh, remote crown her, or basically shoot her and then kill her. But we're going to see Latino Heat sending his hunters in one landing, a one damage pounce. Boomer is going to look for Boom on top of the train, and they do have a hunter set up. This is going to give ID, maybe if they are foolish at least, the thought that they can go for the crown. But the hunter is going to be able to scratch a gig! Lewis down! 
Man, that was just poor decision by ID. They should have known to count the spawns and know that the hunter was still up, or even a smoker would have been. But man, that was uh, perfectly played by the Latino Heat. Yeah, getting the end cap on Gilatoy means that this tank already has so much less work to do. And that was some very poor decision making by ID. But they're going to be able to push this tank forward if they so choose. All four survivors making their way up, and ID is going to run back, it looks like. We have AI Hunter making his way in, and ID is starting their run back. So, uh, well, this tank, uh, they're going to run into the barn, and we have a great pull right there. No honey rifle means that this tank is going to be able to last a lot longer, and tank is following. He's going to go for a hit on the car, I think, Signa. Um, very good, well be. I mean, well, they aren't probably going to make it in time now, but ID is going to be able to get inside. It would have been interesting to see if Latino Heat could have worked that car in, but... It's all too bad. He may actually go for the forklift, though. It seems like he's heading towards it. It'd be very interesting to see if they can get any in-caps with that, and I'd really love to see it, to be honest, Missy. Yeah, me too. I I really want ID... Well, not this side. I want ID to win this map really, really badly. So, uh, well... We have our first email. We will announce it after this tank signal for the first person who will win. But uh, yeah, get excited, be be pumped, etc., etc. So here we have this tank. He is a Julio tank. Let's head to the Latino Heat War Room. All right, here comes your support. Pull and cold jerk. Shit. Oh, dude. Wow. He did well. Nice boom. Two boom. Nice. Take good him green, down. Good green. Good green. All right. Still have health. Still Pick have up health. Your Two and two, two or boom. You got two boom guys right there you could have hit. Got the forklift there too, but I wouldn't oh, talk. Wow, yeah. yeah. The red, that's a red, but whatever. Rock, that's rock, a black and white uh, now. Fuck. We have spawns up almost. Try and get out. Hey, actually, stay alive. Actually, stay alive. Yeah. Alright, you ready? I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. Hey, get pull, recap. Pull, Let's go. Coulter, Coulter, get him. Get him, get, 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 get him. Come on, come on. They got a pickup, dude. They got a pickup. My wow, dude, look at Chris. He still has uh, like a hundred health. Fuck. Dude. Let's bring it back here to Erev. And that war room was a little more vulgar than I would have uh, liked, especially with all the damage that they did right there. They sent Killatoy black and white. They got an in cap on Kush and punched Cool, Dirk, cool Jerk once. So that's uh, that's definitely after. Uh, wow, what's the word I'm looking for? Awesome, Cygnus. <laughs> awesome indeed, and we do actually see Killtoy went black and white during that. He almost died again, I feel so bad for him, it seems like he's taking the brunt of these hittables. Or not hittables, but the brunt of all the tanks hits, and I guess hittables on map 4, death to But yeah, for a second there I thought he was going to die. The smoker looking for an intercept, er, an intercept, a separation pull, but he was unable to land it. We're going to see the hunters bouncing in, one going to have two dead stuff, the boomer is going to be able to land on Two of the survivors, Killtoy and Bill, being played by Kush. But it looks like we're going to see ID get into the safe room with a 108 health bonus. Alright, so, our first winner of a Justin Moosey Meyer signed mouse pad is a man by the name of I Turner1387. Again, that is I Turner1387. We will be contacting you. Uh, and if uh, you're. Yeah, well, anyway, we'll be contacting you for your information to give you a Justin Moosey Meyer signed mouse pad. I hope you're a fan, and if not, well, you can always give it to somebody else. But here we have ID making their way out, and, or, excuse me, Latino Heat, and they have some work to do. We have the attack coming in right now. We have a Smoker go for a pull. We have a 100 making his way in. Boomer whiffs the boom, and Smoker finally gets a pull. Nine damage counts right there. But Cygnus, that is not the kind of damage that we need to see ID do. Definitely not. Let's see, he did a much better job on that first attack than ID did, getting so much chip onto three of the survivors. It's too bad, really, but it looks like we're going to see Latina Heat make it to at least the warehouse, the Richardson Atlantic warehouse, before uh, ID will have their next attack up. Yes, uh, we will. <laughs> it's, it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. So still, still pay attention, still be excited. Uh, right now I'm trying to figure out the exact health bonus that is needed for... ID to survive, or for ID to win this and send us to Suicide Blitz for their chance to win $100. So we have Latino Heat making their way out very, very slowly, and we have the attack coming in right now, Cygnus. Yeah, the pressure's on Moosey. We actually see two of the SI getting stuffed. The boomer managed to land on one of the survivors, but the hunter got dead stopped. 
And yeah, like I said, the pressure's on Friday right now. They really need to perform with this tank and this witch that they have that needs to be dealt with. Like you said earlier, they cannot avoid the witch or they forfeit the map. We're definitely so, going to see them take out this witch though. Latino Heat has some of the best crowners in Left 4 Dead. Goose is my main man, and the witch is actually inside, so it's it's a... Uh, she's avoidable completely, if the survivor so chose. But they can't, they're going to probably just go back down. They're going to clear the tank and go down and take care of the witch, it looks like. So here they are, they're running out. The witch is startled, but she is, well, surprised. But she's not actually going to do anything. And you know, I, I don't think we've heard enough of ID. Let's just listen to them this entire tank signal. Alright. Hunters and do some major damage. Are you sure, man? They shut down two hunters and then are a hunter, and that's a lot of damage that tank's gonna take. Yeah, I really disagree with Let's that. Let's just, just go in with three hunters, I'll go for a rock. We're gonna pass it. We need yeah. a boomer for this. Right. So everyone get ready. I'm ready. Get ready, get ready. Right, let's go now. Three, two, one, let's go. Get the rock at least. Yep. I got two scratch. Three scratches. If we can get at least two down with this tank, that'd be beautiful. That's all we need. Alright. Let's do this. Right. Hey, Let's go for him. Come on. Made away for distraction, man. Yeah, I was like, I was waiting all day. I didn't want to lose that spawn. It's all good. I need help. Uh, I got wow, we gotta get those booms, guys. Come on. All right, let's bring it back here to Erev, and a lot of frustration happening in the ID event, or excuse me, Mum. Latino Heat had a 157 health bonus, but they do have to deal with this wit. So, Cygnus? Oh, there's gonna be one huge choke point still. Yeah, and it's gonna be, like, the... Uh, <laughs> I said the pressure was on before, it is really on right now. If ID wants to make this a 1-1 one -one situation, they are really gonna have to do something with this witch. The boomer is pre-spawned, but the- OH MY GOD! Did I just see that? Yep, Miguel just ran in there and shot the witch in the face. Meanwhile, wow. Latino Heat is going to win $100! that they're going to put towards their Serp. So congratulations to the Latino Heat for that, unless, uh, well, unless they take a ridiculous amount of damage or somebody jumps off here. But a 142 health bonus means that Latino Heat is likely going to get the 2-0, but we will be staying on the server for Suicide Blitz for a bonus round. My god, Moosey, that was just so clutch on Miguel's part. He just, like you said, he just ran in there and shot the witch, the boomer. It was, he, uh, wow. He couldn't even get the scratch off to get the witch to come after him, and yeah, wow. Very, very well played by the Tino Heat, that's all I gotta say. And congratulations to them for winning $100. Yes, Latino Heat pulling out the win twice. Uh, so we are going to be going to Suicide Blitz, and we're going to take a small break uh, to just let everybody refuel. So we will be back at 8.15 Eastern, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we are going to put this up, we're going to do some shoutouts, and then we'll get back to the fun.
The subway can take us straight to Mercy Hospital. Good thinking. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right now we are having some difficulty. ID actually disappeared after that, so we're not going to be seeing ID play. That does not mean that we're not going to see some Suicide Blitz action though. I'm currently trying to line up a couple different teams to play, just for some fun and shenanigans. So uh, while we do that, Signa is going to read some shoutouts. I have a few that I've been waiting to read the whole time, but uh, I have one from Nugget. Shout out to David Cinnamon, I'm so glad we got to go to the skate ring together and the Spangatron 5000 was the most fun I've had in years. From Soulstar to my good friend Tech and Grim. Let's see, I have a shout out from Bulls to Goose. They shoved me into lockers, I shoved them into caskets. I have a shout out from Reflex. You're doing a great... Uh, yep, I guess I guess instead of that a shout out. But he also has a shout out from Reflex to Sheflex, the Michelle Obama of Left 4 Dead. That's about all I got. Um, I guess while we we're trying to figure out what's happening here, we we're just trying to provide someone to play the Tsunami Heat for this Suicide Blitz action. But until then, I guess you guys are just going to have to watch the Tsunami Heat 2v2. Alright, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Signets, uh, are you done with your shoutouts? Yes, sir. Alright, well, looks like we are going to be setting this up. It's going to be, uh, Latino Heat is going to be playing against Vector. Um, so right now I'm in the process of setting that up. Signets, why don't you just give us a rundown of the cast while I set this up? A rundown of the cast? Well, let's see. Death Toll was such an action-packed campaign. From 1 to 4, we saw Latino Heat get quadded on map 3, and on map 2 we saw ID get quadded, so it was back and forth, but ultimately we saw Latina Heat take the win they were able to wipe, inevitable defeat on map 4, with an awesome tank play from Miguel, and then we had Blood Harvest 1-4, to four, and it came out, Latina Heat won again, they were able to barely win it by coming out on top of the health bonus, they were able to deal with the tank very well, and on top of that, they, when they dealt with the witch, we saw Miguel turn the corner and crown the witch before the boomer was able to scratch it. And ultimately, that they gave them the win. I believe they made it in with about 140 or 150 health bonus, and that put them ahead by 200 to 300 points. Alright, so, Cygnus, uh, while we are continuing to get this set up, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize so much. I'm not sure why ID left, uh, so that would be something for you to ask them on your own personal time, beca because we are very excited to bring you some Suicide Blitz action. Uh, so we are just getting this uh, set up right now. I apologize for seeming a little straggled and stressed. Uh, it wouldn't be eSport to steal a quote from Day 9. Or, I don't, I don't know, somebody fantastic <laughs> from the StarCraft community has said it many times. It wouldn't be eSports if there weren't problems. Generally, it's not so much a player problem as a server side or a uh, electronics problem, but we are just trying to get this set up, so I think uh, we're going to go down for another five minutes or so. I believe our overlay is still up, not Nightcrawl. Hey, or, or, all right, well, it is not up. Well, we're just going to let you guys watch this for just a little bit, five minutes or so while we get the set up. We're going to come back. We're going to do a bunch of shoutouts while we're waiting to go live, so uh, we'll see you guys very soon.
feel.
All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at eRev TV. I'm not sure if Cygnus has returned yet or not. Just wanted to give everyone an update. Uh, we are going to be seeing Latino Heat playing against Vector Gaming on Suicide Blitz. I believe Vector actually has a lot of experience. So Cygnus, if you're here, are you excited? Alright, some dead air. So Cygnus is still AFK, okay, but that's fine. You can just sit here and enjoy it. So we're waiting on teams to get in the server. We're just going to show you guys just a little bit of fun action. I believe our overlay never actually went up. So, yeah. Alright, well. We have two minutes left on a download for Suicide Blitz for somebody who needed to reinstall it, get the updated bird. So we are going to go ahead and read a bunch, a bunch of shoutouts. So, starting, we have a shout out uh, from Shame to Cygnus. Stop slacking with a shout out. We have one from Josh to Cygnus. Nice voice crack. Puberty is hard. Uh, we have one from Biako to me for being awesome and making the images. Also to Pele's manly nipples. And uh, five minutes e rev time is how much in valve time? About, oh, 47 hours. And also, shout out to his awesomeness and magical pixel pushing prowess. That's right, I was able to say that. Uh, I just actually received the message. I just finally saw it that Cygnus was going to air. So, Manana says shout out to Hal. Get some. We have Polish. Shout out to my girl Helen Keller for being the best. Oh, wait, she can't hear us. Oh, that is awful, Polish. Oh, ho, ho. You know, Helen Keller actually does fly the uh, the plane on the dead air finale, though, ladies and gentlemen. If you have never, you know, like that crash, I, I don't know why you went and crashed when into a safe room. But, so, uh, yeah, that's that's a Helen Keller story, I guess. Uh, we have a bunch more to get through. So, we have one from... I promised that I wouldn't do it, and I'm not going to read it verbatim. But all I have is one from g -Not to Claudia. I like you. That's all I'm saying, g -Not. Never a shout-out again. I have one from Kits to me. From me being your little errand boy. He uses a different term for errand boy, but we're not going to say that here on eRev TV, because we're nice. One from Katie to ask me who won. I had to AFK. Well, Katie, I'm sure you know, as I actually see you, I believe, in the uh, Latino Heat Mumble. The Latino Heat did win 2-0, and the map has finally changed to Super Blitz, so we are, we're getting excited here. Hey. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have a brief, brief downtime, about 30 seconds. Nightcrawler needs to take the stream down and then put it right back up. So, ladies and gentlemen, be, uh, be excited. Be excited. 